Hello everyone, welcome again. Today we are going to have a look at the grade 12, November 2022, a mathematics question paper 1. And we are going to focus on question number 3. And the statement of the question reads as follows. It is given that the general term of a quadratic number pattern is tn and n squared bn um, plus 9. And the first term of the first difference is 7. And we're asked to calculate B, or asked to show that B is indeed equals to 4. Alright, um, so just to catch up, a quadratic sequence. So, major things to notice. A, a quadratic sequence is defined by this equation. Tn equals to a n squared plus b n plus c. This is the value that exists in the nth term. And if you are struggling to understand the difference between the say nth term or the value that is in the nth term, please um, for, look at the video that I'm going to attach a link in the section below. And here we are. Even we we have unknowns A, B, C, and they tell us different stories of that quadratic pattern. The next thing is that for a quadratic pattern, we'll have a certain value of this. We'll say that we'll have the pattern where we have let's say uh, M, N, O, P up until Z. So this is term 1, n equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is the nth, nth term. Hopefully you can see that. So the value in the term 1 is m, the value in term 2 is n up until z. So for a quadratic pattern, we have a first difference. We have a first difference. Because it's a quadratic pattern, the first different the first difference won't be the same. We'll have some 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 let's say um, we'll have um, E, F, and G. And in there, so E, F, and G are not equal. But if we were to do the second difference, we'll have that the, the second difference will be the same. And let's say it's equal to uh, maybe F. F. So quadratic patterns have two differences and on the second difference that's where we find the constant that better describes um, the, the so it is, even this one does describe but this is where we stop and we say this is indeed a quadratic pattern if we find that only the second difference is the same. All right now we are asked in here to show that B is equal to 4 and b is this value so one thing i should tell you is that on a quadratic pattern in order for us i know this might be a little bit um hopefully you follow my notation here for us to find the first term of a quadratic pattern we use this formula a plus b plus c should give us the first term of the quadratic pattern in order to find the first term of the first difference we use this equation 3a plus b is equal to e. To find the second difference, we use 2a equals to the second difference. Now, they are asking us to show that b equals to 4. So, we are looking for b and we can either use this equation or this one. But for that, we need to first know the value of a and we also need to find the first value of the first difference and those are easy stuff we are given that the first the value of the you know the first term first term of the first difference so e this is equal to seven and from this equation the equation that we are given there follows tn is equal to n squared plus en plus 9. Yes. 9 
is C, B is unknown, what is A? A is 1. So A is equal to 1. So therefore, we can calculate the value of B. So if we go to this equation, this one, 3 multiplied by 1 plus B should all equal to 7. And therefore, our B value is indeed equals to 4 because if we take 3, that side 7 minus 3 is 4. And we have shown our B that is equal to 4 indeed. Now the second term is saying let's determine the 60th term of this pattern. So, um, what does this all mean? The 60th term of this pattern. So, we already know that we have found the value of B. B is equal to 4. And therefore, our equation now is equal to m squared plus 4n plus 9. So, this tells us about the, the value in the nth term. So to find that value, we need to substitute by that specific n term to find that um, value of that term number. So if they are saying that they need the 60th term, they are giving us n equals to 60, and they want what is this guy here. So t60, the term, that is the value in the 60th term, is going to be equal to, you just substitute by 60, wherever you see n, so it's going to be 4. 60 plus 9 and therefore this is all equals to so this is for question 2 question 3.2 hopefully they follow so um this is equal to 60 squared plus 4 times 60 plus 9 so this is all equals to 3849 Sorry if it's a bit messy, but hopefully you can follow. Um, so we move on to the next question now. I'm keeping this here so at least you can um, try and follow up if um, any of the following questions would like us to refer to these ones. So they are asking us in 3.3 to determine the general term for the sequence of first differences of the quadratic number 14. Now you must write your answer in terms of tp equals to mp plus q. Oh, and indeed, this now is useful. So they are saying that, like I told you, for a quadratic pattern, we have the first difference and we have the second difference. You see that for the second difference, these are just same values. But for a first difference, we have a pattern that follows an arithmetic pattern. Why am I saying that? Because from f minus e, we have a difference that is equal to also g minus f and so on. So it means that from here downwards. So, so from here, this is arithmetic and this is the difference. So they are saying this. Let us write the, form, the formula that better describes the first differences. Now, if I say it follows arithmetic sequence, it means that this, what they want us to figure out here, should be the same as Tn. But in this case, they don't want us to say, okay, let's say Tn. For arithmetic, we have this equation plus n minus 1 multiplied by the difference. And... A is the first term of the first difference. A is the first term of an arithmetic sequence. What happens to be the first difference here? And that's equals to 7 plus n minus 1. What is D? What is the difference? What is the difference between F and E? G and F. That is given by our last, so the, the, the second difference. The second difference follows so, like I said to you, A plus A, B plus C will give us the value of the first term. The first term of the first difference is given by this value. And the second difference follows 2 times A. 
So therefore, to find the difference is going to be 2 times pi a, and the value of a is 1. So d is equal to 2. So can we arrange this equation so that it follows this? So if we multiply this throughout, we're going to have 7 plus 2n minus 2. And therefore, we can then say tn is equal to 2n plus 5. So what this then means is that this equation they want here is this one. But we can't use n. It's confusing because n is the nth term. And we're working with the first difference here. And the term numbers are these ones. Those are the term numbers. So that's why they want us to denote it in terms of p. And therefore, this is the same as tp. So where we see n, we substitute by p. That's tp. It's going to be 2p plus 5. So the first difference is guided by 2p plus 5. All right. So we move on to the next question now. So they are asking us which two consecutive terms in the quadratic number pattern have a first difference of 157. Okay, what's the best way to approach this question? So as I've told you that these differences are not the same. So the first difference, but the second difference is always the same. So and we've already found what equation this follows. The first difference follows this equation in here. So if we want to look at p equals to 1, so this is the first value of the first difference. p equals to 2 is going to be f, p equals to 3 is g. So what we should know is that e tells us the difference between term 1 and term 2. So and f tells us the difference between term 2 and term 3. So the first difference, so a specific first difference tells us um, about, so the value, so if we look at P here, so that, so that would be P1, so here P1, P2, P3, so that's P equals to 1, P equals to 2, and 3. So for P equals to 1, it tells us the difference between term 1 and 2, and the information lies on P equals to 1. So P equals to 1 corresponds to first difference, then the second, no, first term, and the second term. So it means that if they are saying which two consecutive terms, so consecutive n and z and o, o and p, and n and so on. So they are saying which two consecutive terms in the quadratic number pattern have a first difference of 157. So we have p, so this is 3.4. We have p equals to 157. No, no, sorry. Um, we have TP, so the value in that, um, so the term number, so so let's say um, the P term. So if we go for first difference, the first value, the first term, second, and, and so on. So if we go to the P value, we're going to find that TP, the value that is in, in P, is going to be equal to 157. Now they want us to find which consecutive term. So the term number. So we need to find P that is going to tell us, okay, where are we in terms of getting 157? And from that P, we can then go back to our understanding here that P, so, so for P1 or P2, it tells us about that we're in term 2 and term 3. We're between term 2 and term 3. So how can we find the value of P if they are saying the, the, the TP is going to be 157? We use the same equation. So 2P plus 5 is equal to 157. And 2P is equal to 157 minus 5. It's going to be 152. And therefore P is equal to 152 by Is gonna be 76. 
So P equals to 76 tells us that from P, P equals to 1, P equals to 2, we are now in P equals to 76. And P equals to 76 falls between P equals to 76 falls between term number so term number 76 and term number 77. Why am I saying that? Because we follow the same pattern that the first difference, the first term of first difference tells us for the difference in the first term and the second term. So P76 is going to be the difference between 76 and 77. And that is your answer. So it's between 70, 76 and 77. Um, so that's a wrap for question 3. Thank you guys.